Hello! I'm Elaine, and I'm a tour guide in the French Quarter. I do ghost tours, and I am not going to tell you the stories that I tell on my tour, because you gotta pay for those, but if you want to hear some interesting things that have happened to me while I'm leading random drunk people around the French Quarter, I got you. So this weekend was Crew of Boo, and this is a weekend that I will admit tends to be a little bit messy for tour guides, and specifically the night of Crew of Boo it tends to be one of those nights that there's going to be some ridiculous things to see, there's going to be a lot of people screaming at you, there are going to be a lot of moments where you have to stop because the chaos around you is too loud, and mine was actually pretty calm. I only ended up doing one and maybe a fifth of a tour. Uh, so I was scheduled to do a 4 p.m. and a 7 p.m. And I was a little bit upsetty spaghetti because I really wanted to go to the parade this week, this year. I don't know why. It just got into my head that I wanted to go to that parade. And I was like, yay, I'm going to get to go to that parade. And then, no, I'm not. I have to work. And to make it even worse, I get down there and my 4 p.m. guests come listen to one story and as we're heading to the next location they're like hey we have a question but it's not about the the story and i'm like okay and they're like when are we going into the haunted houses and i'm like we ain't this is a true crime tour and they're like well we were told that we were going to go to the haunted houses and i'm like if you take a ghost tour you go to the haunted houses you don't go in them and they're like, no, no, the lady at the kiosk told us we were going to take lots of pictures with ghosts. And, like, she talked about how people come back and show off the pictures. I'm like, yeah, they take pictures outside of the buildings. And that's on a ghost tour. This is a true crime tour. This is a tour where we go to the places where people were murdered and we tell stories about what happened. And they were like, oh, that's not what we wanted. So the tour pretty much ended there. Like, I literally took them back to the shop in the hopes that maybe they'd reschedule for the ghost tour and it would be closer to what they wanted. And nope, because they could not stop saying that they were told they were going into haunted houses. And I kept being like, no, if, if like, no one said that. And, like, I wasn't there. But when you told me that you were told you were going, quote, unquote, to houses, you said that as if you thought that meant going in. And there is a difference between the words into and to. I don't actually think this one's our fault. Uh, but the good news is that meant I then had free time and could just wander around. The bad news is the parade started at 6.30. I need to be back at the starting location to meet my new guests at 6.30. So no, I did not get to go to the parade. But my later guests, they were good. They were fun. They were interested. It was fine. Uh, there were a few moments I had to stop talking because, you know, families with small children are walking by. And if there's one tour that is really hard to keep talking when there are small children walking by, it's the true crime tour. I don't know about other guys, but I just don't quite feel comfortable talking about people being found in pieces and trunks when there is like a toddler wandering by behind me. So there were a little bit more pausing than usual. But otherwise, I didn't get a lot of the chaos that I know a lot of the other tour guides had to deal with last night. But tonight, it seems there was an event going on somewhere in the quarter. Because uh, on the earlier tour, I was in the middle of talking about voodoo. And specifically, I was talking about the fact that voodoo is generally a closed practice. As in, it's not a religion where you can just go to the house of worship, wander in, and find people practicing their religion. And you can watch and, you know, learn about it and leave. No, generally speaking, when it comes to voodoo, you need to be invited to actually see the practice. And I was talking about this, and right when I was getting to the crux of what I was trying to say, I see out of the corner of my eye, walking by on the sidewalk across from us, a man wearing nothing but a leather G-string and a leather mask with bunny ears attached to it. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, there's a kinky bunny walking by. Guys, there's a kinky bunny walking by. But I can't say that. I have to focus on my story. And I'm sitting here trying to talk about a religion. And there's a kinky bunny walking by behind me. And uh, I was very proud of myself. Because right at the end of that segment, I was like, yeah. And voodoo wasn't like we do with a lot of things today. Just letting everything hang out. And everyone getting to see everything. And my guests laughed. And I was very proud of myself. Because I usually don't manage to integrate things happening around us into the tour quite so well but I also knew I had to say something because 
Like, all of their eyes were tracing the kinky bunny, not watching me. And, like, half of them were snickering, and a couple were looking very, very intrigued. And I'm like, I gotta at least say something about this. And I was like, okay, that's a one-off. And then, no! Throughout the rest of the night, I kept running into guys wearing, you know, just underwear or underwear with a semblance of a costume around it. Uh, my favorite was there were a pair of guys that passed by us, I think, three times who were wearing itty bitty boxer briefs in beautiful pastel colors and like the cheapest party city fairy wings I've ever seen in my life. And I think they were doing it on purpose because the last time they did it, they sort of snickered and waved. I'm like, yeah, y'all are having fun by the fact that my tour guests are very confused why you're here. And truthfully, I was a little bit confused. As far as I know, there wasn't a party down there tonight. But I'm guessing, yeah, one of the clubs was having a party that I just didn't know about. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to check out my book, Drunks of the French Quarter Theater, available on Amazon, bookshop.org, Barnes & Noble, pretty much wherever.